All right, so the last group uh, or the last class of, of visual I iconography that you'll see on the food in the American marketplace, and again, in many countries around the world, are health claims and structure function claims. So health claims are very specific because they always state a disease or some disease associated actual thing, right? So Cheerios may reduce your cholesterol. And it literally says, and you can't see it in this, in this image, you know, diets high in soluble fiber may help reduce the risk of heart disease. It actually states a disease. That's a health claim. As of 2000, I do not believe we've added a new health claim in 12, 13, 14 years, I'm sorry, in 20 plus years, we've not added a new health claim um, because there's really, there hasn't been a new food component that had enough data to prove that it did a health effect or it has a, an actual measurable change in the health outcome. So fluoride has a, has a health claim, intake of calcium for bone density has a health claim, uh, soluble fiber in your cholesterol has a health claim. There's, a, there's 14 of them. Okay, and you know it's a health claim because it states a disease. So these all state disease. Reduced cholesterol, it's an actual measurable thing. It says somewhere on the label, heart disease. Lower your cholesterol in four weeks. They actually removed this, by the way, from the marketplace. It was too specific, but states a disease. These are approved health claims by the federal government. These aren't. These are supplement claims. These are structure function claims. They say things but they're not exactly a disease, or the, the things they say aren't exactly diseases. St. John's wort supports emotional health. Uh, what does that mean? Now, they're selling it secretly as you're using it for depression or anxiety. It's never been proven, to, by the way, to treat those nor cure those. Uh, and by the way, it does have an asterisk that will link to a statement that says in the back of this item, not intended to treat or cure a disease. They have to do that for legal purposes. But they always have very ambiguous statements that you have to read through the lines to figure out what they're trying to sell. Um, but supports emotional health? Sure, maybe. Um, you know, chocolate and a good Disney or a Pixar movie, that supports emotional health. How come they don't get a claim, right? That's a structure function claim. It never states a disease. Ginkgo biloba, never shown to actually do anything. Helps maintain mental alertness. Cocaine does too, and caffeine. So, come on. It's not a health claim, it's not approved, but because it's not a health claim, it's fairly unregulated. That's why they can play with their wording and get as close as they can to that cliff, never state a disease. And again, they also have a little thing that's gonna, you're gonna turn the bottle around and it's gonna say, not intended to cure or treat any disease. They have to do that for legal purposes. So if, if you look at these, right? Diets rich in calcium have been shown to reduce the risk of osteoporosis, right? You might find this on a soy milk container. Osteoporosis, if you don't know, that's a disease. That's a health claim, of course. Lycopene, which is found in tomatoes, it's, an anti, it's, a, it's a phytochemical, is a powerful antioxidant, antioxidant which may reduce oxidative stress and promote heart health. What does that mean, heart health? Again, uh, a great bar of C's chocolate promotes heart health. Um, a happy ending at the end of Avengers promotes heart health. It's, it's a structure function claim. It doesn't state a disease. And for the record, lycopene is not a powerful antioxidant, and it's supposed to help prevent or reduce the, the risk of getting prostate cancer. And all those studies have come up as goose eggs. They never really showed to do anything or were shown to do anything. Here's a great one. Pomegranate juice contains dietary flavonoids, it does, that have been shown to reduce the risk of heart disease. Well, that's a disease, so this is a health claim. It would be a health claim. It's not real. Pomegranate juice, juice does have dietary phytochemicals, which actually have a lot of interesting effects in animals, which appear to be heart healthy. They, have, as far as I know, have never applied for an official health claim, nor have they received an official health claim. Palm Wonderful, one of the most kind of biggest icon of the pomegranate juice market, they've said all sorts of things on their food products, and they have been told by the Federal Trade Commission repeatedly to stop doing it. Because, you know, does pomegranate juice help prevent heart disease? It very well might, but you need to get approved by the powers, in be, at, in be, uh, the powers that be to have an approved health claim. As of 
the making of this video, they do not. Neither does red wine, neither does dark chocolate, neither does black tea. Those all may be preventative dietary food items or food stuffs that, that help with heart, heart disease or lower your heart disease risk over time. But they're not approved as of the making of this video for an official health claim. All right, that's it for chapter two. Sorry for some of these were kind of long. It's what it is.